Alright, welcome back. So for today, we're going to be doing the gun thing and we're going to make it a little bit cleaner because putting it in animation is just a mess. Um, I also uh, wanted to tell you guys that I did put up the scripts on my public Unigen thing and I got both the C sharp and the C++. So um, the, C++, uh, the C sharp one's a little bit finicky but the c++ one's not too bad um they're both uh questionable because the c++ only uploaded the scripts i couldn't really put the whole project well for the c sharp it's still being put in the last few hours i i think it's stuck at the same number so i don't know if that's gonna work or not but if it does it does if it doesn't it doesn't um anyways let's start with what we're gonna do so the first thing we're going to do is actually get our uh, shotgun and we're going to have the gun property that we just had our bullet. We called it a bullet property. I changed it to call it gun property since we're going to be using it on the gun. And what I did was if we go inside here is I added two more parameters. One is a bullet damage, which is an in type and one's a rate of fire, which is an in type. And that just gives me more ability to handle with our gun uh, our shotgun has the property so now you can have like different types of shotguns or guns and they can have these type of properties and you can use them as how, however you like okay um the next thing i did was i made a node an empty node and so an empty object inside the world space which is just a child of the main character i'm just doing this so it looks a little cleaner that's all it is so uh, that's all I've done. And in terms of that random bullet in the middle of the air, I can just delete it. Not really going to use it. And yeah, so that's that. Let's go into the coding side. So for coding side, we're going to clean it up by actually removing our uh, these uh, a few of the equations. So like the shoot, shoot two, and shoot jargon. So once we do that, we're going to have these errors. So we're just going to take all of this. I'm going to copy and delete it because we're going to be using this later on. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to copy all that again. Control K control while holding control K and control C to comment it all. So now it's not going to give us any errors. And then over here, we're just going to remove all this. So that's going to be uh, all done. Our animation now has nothing to do with the gun. It's just there for the animation. Thus, we made it a little bit cleaner. Uh, we still have to do a lot more in terms of refactoring, but we're going to get to that later. Now, the next thing we did was we created our gun handler. And for us, we just had an update, uh, get gun, and a shoot. Now, for the get gun, we're going to go into our detection ray. I'm going to add it into our detection ray, and we're going to do a simple coding so for us what we're going to do is just uh we're going to do a gun handler pointer underscore gun equals to and then we're just going to do the same get component gun handler and then we're going to ask first for where if i remember correctly it was the Gun handler is the main character's child number one. So we're going to do node get child one. All right. So the second child is uh, one, the first child is zero. And then we're going to go underscore gun get gun. And we're going to give it the gun itself, which is the I object. And now the gun is now connected to our gun handler. So now our gun handler has our gun um, copied in. So now in our little function here, we got it saying gun is gun. Uh, in the old code, uh, there was a few more things written here, but we're not going to write that. So what we're going to do, because if you look back over here, we had this thing called bullet prefab equals to node reference create and what that does is it creates it in the world space we don't need it at the moment so that's actually bad 
idea from my part so sorry about that guys but anyways you live and you learn you know so the next thing we're gonna do is actually the main logic we'll, we'll start with the main logic because what happens is when we do the main logic we'll understand so now that we have the gun we're also gonna do the is holding equals to true meaning if he's holding anything we're gonna say he is and then we're just going to make a simple if is holding, right? Because now that he is holding, now we're going to make it, uh, uh, now we're going to do stuff with it. Because right now, because before it was like, if is, if it's not holding, but now it is holding. So what we're going to do is, um, uh, let's say while he's holding and he presses the mouse button left we can we can do an extra saying that while he's pressing the right then he presses left but uh, let's just make it easy for ourselves so let's just make another if unigen input is mouse down uh we'll do press because we want to oh we'll do press because we want to show you the rate of fire and how to do all the other stuff so it's going to be unigen all right then input then uh mouse button underscore left so if i'm pressing left i want it to shoot so we're gonna say shoot and i'm gonna say shoot with this lookout we are going to use the exact same thing that the lookout was which was somewhere here out oh, there no, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's just let's just do this. Copy it. Control F. There we go. So now we have a shoot. So we're gonna use the shoot. Uh, this big long one, which allows us to shoot with uh, what's it called precision to where we're looking at, rather than what we're uh, what the gun is aiming. So we're gonna be shooting exactly where we're looking at now for the shoot function we're gonna do the i guess the exact same uh we're gonna be changing a few things so uh let me just copy and paste this and then put it here and then just select all this whoops hold control press k and press u so that's gonna uncomment everything okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that bullet prefab creation right here so we're just gonna copy this so i'm gonna do it right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make sure i'm writing everything correctly which is going to be zero we're gonna remove these gets because eh, it's just a waste of space we can do it without the gets so parameter thingy get file since we are still getting it from the same file that's connected we are we didn't touch that so that we don't need to change anything from there then we got a load node that which is the exact same thing that we had then we got set and position okay that's good that's good and then after that we need the bullet which is that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually go into the bullet class because I did create a function, I believe. Did I? No, it's just the, uh, the damage equals to num. So what I did was I created a new uh, thing called it damage and I set it up to, I'm gonna set it to zero. And what we're gonna do is just gonna set the damage to be that much. Now, in our where are we? we were in the gun handler because uh, nothing else that we changed yet the only thing we're going to change over here eh, we, did, we didn't change anything yet so uh, let's go here and we're going to do a bullet pointer underscore bullet or just bullet inch lower equals to get component of bullet inside our underscore bullet 
heavy because it has the bullet component. And then we're just going to do a bullet set damage. And we're going to set it to, uh, if I just move this here, we got our shotgun. We're going to set it to that bullet damage right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste this, put it here. And then we're going to do, um, so this is going to be number one. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna say uh, get value int, and that's it. So now the damage of that bullet is now set to one, and then we shoot it. And over here it's like 50. I might as well just make it 100, so it's like super fast, so we can shoot it from far. Now if we run this, this thing is gonna be shooting like infinitely, infinitely. Yeah, probably infinitely. Like. Uh, it's going to be shooting every frame and um, that's not good. So what are we going to do is, so uh, we are in update physics. This is going in physics frame. So what we're going to do is actually, we are going to add another if statement and then we're going to put this thing inside that if statement. Now, why are we doing this? Because we just have one more. Now you can write it all in one line. I'm just putting in triple if statements so you can understand. Um, now for this one, what we're going to do is actually we're going to have that rate of fire time, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to get that rate of fire and in, we're also going to do this. We're going to connect our rate of fire. So over here, let's go here, let's go here and let's connect that rate of fire over here because we want that rate of fire to be constant so what we're gonna do is right here then i'm just gonna copy this the one that we said the damage because the damage setting is the same as the bullet damage so we're gonna do that and i'm gonna change this to a two so now we're connecting to the rate of fire and what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna get the time dot get time so now this gets us time and we're gonna say if it's less than the rate of fire time so if it's less than it what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that rate equals to the same unigen game get time right plus in brackets the rate of fire now the rate of fire is going to be one divided by rate of fire because you're you're shooting five shots in one second so you just want that ratio you add it to the time and it's going to shoot every um five seconds is this everything uh probably there's also one problem i've noticed that inside our bullet when we do it with the collision it only hits it once but when we do it with our body it hits it three uh, or two times actually not three times but two times because if we were to just do a, a log message and then we could do a percentage uh, we could say collision and then percentage uh, D right and then I could do a comma and just say health get health right because we made that function a long time ago and just uh, copy it and paste it here and instead just say body uh, we could easily or we could just do this nah okay but yeah but you'll see the numbers going down so let's hope this works so now we're here oh god we have the sample text in that box let's let's mute that so if we go full screen, we go into our GUI and HUD maker. Uh, for you'll notice that the sample text and the box are in the canvas, so we can literally just mute the canvas while the reticule is inside here. Um, another thing I want to tell you guys is for this guy, we also don't need to do this. So what we can do is. Um, while I'm here, I'm, it's making sense. So image, so we'll, we'll just do the same thing. Image, set uh, image. So instead of doing all that calculation, we can just do set image underscore I, and now it's connected 
we don't need to do the transform and then this thing will ask you what you want in terms of pixels so we're going to choose 50 by 50 pixels which is the same so instead of doing all that uh, transformation thing because that is more for each layer if we just want one picture in one uh, image uh, in one canvas, I mean not canvas, in one widget sprite, then we don't need to do that. So that's going to save us uh, some headache for calculations. I wish I knew that beforehand. So now we have the same thing, even though we did all that calculations, uh, saves our lives. So we hold this in, we're here, so let's just click somewhere outside. Whoopsies. So now we have this little problem. And why is that problem? We shall go. Oh, yes. Uh, the problem is I didn't put these in brackets because. And I put this in brackets. And then. So the importance of brackets. All right. So now I hold it. It's shooting five per second. And it's shooting pretty far. So now if we go back. Oh yes, so we lost our health like what? Two times on the bodies, and I forgot to put that. So two times on the bodies, even though we had a lot of health, but if we shoot the collision, it only shoots it once. It only hits it once. So yeah, um, right now I don't know how to fix that, but uh, so far the easiest way to do that is just doubling the collision so they're both the same, right? That's easier. I mean, it makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, we want the damage to be consistent, so uh, we're gonna do that. So now we're here. Shoot it. It had three health. Whoops. Can't even shoot. Probably too far away. So now we have. All right. There you go. And as you can see, if I smack it moves because it's uh, rigid but now if we shoot it consistent damage and yeah so and then we have the rate of fire that's working perfectly fine if we wanted it to shoot like twice a second then we have to do it in two and if we wanted to shoot like in in longer minutes then we put it in half and all that stuff and yeah so there's that now that's it for cleaning it up uh i'm probably gonna check more on this collision stuff because even now when i did it on collisions with the physics update it still didn't work because that's not just update that's update physics uh i changed it and it still didn't work uh i'll find out what's wrong with that if not then this is the quick fix so far but anyways, yeah, we added our uh, gun handler. We got our little shoot. We're going to keep these other functions because there's probably... Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do um, more guns or like hold multiple guns and everything. So until then, I will see you guys next time. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>